Blocking accounting periods in evolution. In this demo, I'll explain how evolution manages periods and how we can block users from posting in periods that are blocked. During the setup of a company database in evolution, we are asked for the closing date of our first accounting period. Typically, this will be period 13, leaving periods 1 to 12 of the previous financial year for posting prior year's balances to. Evolution creates 60 periods in startup, which spans five years. These dates can be edited later. Do this before you start capturing the data. To access the accounting periods, click on Common, then on Company Details, and click on the Accounting Periods tab. Here you can block periods, which prevents agents from processing data to the selected period. You can block periods that are finalized, or you can block future periods. This is to prevent inadvertent processing. In this example, let's assume I've processed all my opening entries in periods 1 to 12 of our previous financial year. The balances are correct, and I want to prevent posting to these periods. Click on period 12, and to the right of the pane, you will see that everyone is allowed access to period 12. Click on block. You will notice that only period 12 is selected as blocked. To quickly block periods 1 to 11, go to the top of the pane and click on the fourth icon. This will apply the block to all prior periods as well. Note this in the block ticks over here. We can still allow an agent to process to a period while others are blocked. To do this, click on the Add Agents tab. And I've already added an agent called Accounts Payable, but I could do it on the fly by clicking on Add up here. I will click on Accounts Payable and click OK. You may want to use this option because your Accounts Payable agent may still have late invoices to process from the previous financial year. To apply this permission to the prior periods, click on the fourth icon again. Notice that the block column now contains an agent icon rather than the tick that was formerly there, which indicates that we have now mixed access permissions. Click on OK and save your changes. That concludes this demo. Thank you.